Luminite, a mysterious stone that shines in the dark, an ordinary stone that exists in the underworld. Has hello, hello, everyone. I'm back. I just realized that during the entire Medal of uh, Honor Vanguard section that we were doing, I forgot to change the stream title and the, uh, the category. <laughs> so apparently we were just chatting. I mean, more or less. That's what we were doing the whole time anyways, but, you know, I, <laughs> I completely forgot to change it. So, sorry about that. Uh, not that it really makes much of a difference to the people that are here, but, you know, my bad. I tried to stay on top of that stuff. It's just I'm used to having it set before I actually start streaming. But since we're doing the drawings live on stream now, that, uh, yeah, <laughs> doesn't work out so well it turns out so again my bad on that but oh well shaman king power of spirit dude let's go i uh i've never seen the anime uh it looks very vaguely familiar from like the cover like i think i've seen the main character somewhere but that's about it that's all i got ages on earth when two stars meet our king resurrects in order to bring to light the path that should be followed traditional song of the Dobie tribe. Oh, and Nate, since uh, your last Shaman King vote it's never actually got added and the game was picked, if you want to change your vote for something else, you can. Just uh, send me a DM or put it in chat or something like that. The Destiny Star. It's... It's so awesome. Is that Haley's the Comet? Star? Looks like Haley's Comet. Pay attention, Shorty. Every 500 years, the Destiny Star circles the Earth. With the Star of Destruction following close behind, lurking in its shadow. Never mind, maybe that's not Haley's Comet. <laughs> it seeks to rain mass destruction and chaos all over the planet. Oh. What? Uh, then how come we never hear about it? What kind of, uh, Full Metal Alchemist tattoo are you planning on getting, Nate? Raining destruction and chaos and stuff like in history class. Like, uh, are you getting the, uh, I forget the name of the symbol, but, like, that symbol that they have in the, the logo and shit like that? Or are you getting one of the, the circles or transmutation circles? The, the one on, what's his name? Man, it's been way too long since I've watched Mustang, like the one on his glove maybe or something. Because each time the stars have come, there has also come a shaman who has risen to greatness by preventing the disaster and guiding the world to a positive destiny. The Shaman King. You mean that's what this crazy shaman tournament stuff is all about? Oh yeah, we're homunculus symbol. That'd be another cool one. Saving the world? Yeah, and the opening bell just sounded. It's weird that they have all these characters talking, but uh The Destiny Star appears. But like I don't know who any of them are. It's just question marks, man. <laughs> signaling to shaman around the world that the shaman tournament is about to begin. The winner of the tournament will be crowned Shaman King. By uniting with the great king of spirits, the Shaman King will achieve a power like none other on Earth. All his wishes and desires will come true. If a noble Shaman with a pure heart wins, he or she will help maintain order and balance throughout the world. But if a Shaman of evil intent wins, he or she could use his powers to breed chaos and destruction. The future is uncertain. Wait, so... All these people have to duke it out for this ultimate power or whatever. And if someone good wins, yay world. If someone bad wins, then world fucked. Is that, is that what I'm getting here? Oh wait, is this, is this 3D? For some reason I was thinking it would be like a 2D action fighting game or something. This is one of the games I don't have the manual for. I do have the box, but... Thrilling cutscenes and watch battles with stunning effects. This uh, this song that's playing is a thing. <laughs> I don't mind it so far. 
Other than the song. <laughs> the song's a little... Yeah, but... <laughs> I mean, we haven't even seen the game yet, so I can't be mad at the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair. No point in putting too much thought into your next act, too, when you haven't even finished your current set yet. So that's us, right? The little dude right there that was in the corner of the screen. He's on the front of the box, so I can only assume that's the guy we actually play. The Destiny and, Star. Unless we get to pick our, our character. Ah! <laughs> this is the most relaxing spot in the world. Ami tomorrow. Ami tomorrow. Hmm. What's up? You seem kind of bummed. I feel uneasy. I can't help but wonder if my strength alone is enough to help us win the tournament. Oh, that's all? For a second there, I was worried it was something serious. <laughs> Why is it not telling us these people's names, damn it? It is serious, yo. Wait, is that... Is that how you pronounce his name, yo? We don't even know what the tournament entails. Then why are you joining a tournament that you don't even know what it is? Like... I know I'm completely chaotic, but we tried to plan the tattoo. I most recently got was completely out of... <laughs> oh, GG, Nate. GG. So it's hard to know if we're as prepared as we should be. And a samurai should always be prepared. Yeah, but... There's no sense in worrying about things we can't control, right? Let's just expect the unexpected. Yo. That <laughs> fucking name, dude. Yo, Asakura? Asakura? Asakura. 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 You're an awesome samurai. Ami tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll manage. Let us hope you're right, Yo Asakura. <laughs> the L1 button broke off on your PS2 controller? How does the whole ass L1 button just fall off, man, or break off? God damn, yeah, no. F's in chat, dude. <laughs> I think Nate's the only other person currently chilling in chat, but holy shit, man. That sucks. Hopefully you can find another one in your area that's uh, not too too ridiculously priced. Sometimes you can get lucky and find them at like Goodwill and shit like that for relatively cheap or maybe a local game shop or something. Oh, the controller fell. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. I've had that happen to mine a few times. Nothing broke off, thankfully, but because like I'll have it sitting on my desk and then the rumble will start up. And uh, yeah, just rumbles itself off the fucking desk. My name is Silva. And I am a warrior from the Grand Shaman Council. I am here to test you. Let us hope you are prepared. I mean, not really. You just kind of appeared out of nowhere, dude. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Wait, prepared for what? That's an excellent question. If you were half as prepared as a shaman fighter needs to be, you would have not have asked me for what. You must pass this test in order to qualify for the shaman tournament. I didn't even know I was a shaman initiate. Like if you do so. I will grant you your oracle bell. Is that like our pass to get in or something? The oracle bell? <laughs> My who? Your proof that you are an official participant in the shaman tournament. Yeah, okay, so that's like our pass to get in. It's weird how like half the, the lines are voice acted and the other half just aren't. Let's not get ahead of ourselves first. You must defeat me in battle. Oh, I get it. So it's like an entry test. Well, sign me up. That's the spirit. Oh, I neglected to mention that you only have 10 minutes. Sorry, ancient customs. <laughs> now, before we begin, allow me to lecture you on how to battle. Uh, yes, because I have no idea what the hell's going on. And they said, my tattoo artist was like, do you got any other plans for your arm to help with planning around it and all? I was like, yeah, eventually, but it's all good. We'll figure that out when we get there. Oh, man. Tomorrow's problem, right? <laughs> Just... <laughs> First lesson is movement. From where you're standing right now, even if you try to attack me, you can't reach me. Therefore, you must first move towards me. Wait a second, is this a strategy game? Use the move command to approach me.
Okay, how? How do I use the move command? Do, do I click on myself? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So specials, items, capabilities, technique list, standby, tutorial, so we can't do any of that shit. Move into this area. Okay, so we can attack, it looks like within 10 foot, roughly. Now, only roughly though, because squares. Um, I'm assuming the glowing area, like right here, is all the farther we can move though. Like if I click over here, yeah, nothing happens. Okay. So this is as far as we can move and it's within our range. So this changes which way we're facing when we end our turn. So it's very, it's very Final Fantasy Tactics. I wonder though, are we gonna fight with groups or is it always gonna be like one-on-one -on -one shit? Not within your range. Generally, the five space area with you at the center is your range. You can only fight those within your range. Some shaman have less of a range than others, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Once you get your opponent within your range, you can select battle. Give it a try. How many times is this dude gonna say range? Next, select which planet you plan opponent you plan on fighting. So right now you don't have much of a choice. Move the cursor on to me and press the X button. Oh, I get that, man. Wait, so it's a tactics game, but with like, but with normal fighting game fighting? What is it? <laughs> oh wait, we, oh. Wait, that dude was like our spirit fighter or something what what is going on i have no idea what the fuck is going on right now dude <laughs> this is just practice it's not the official entry test first you must learn the basic way to fight squares for weak attacks okay and we can we can chain got it keep it up try using the triangle for strong okay so God of War, triangle weak, triangle strong, oh wait, square weak, triangle strong, I got it. I'm following so far. Not bad, next we'll discuss guard. Going to attack, you to press circle button and block, unless you want to get hurt. <laughs> Smack that kid in the face. <laughs> Yes, that's good. Let's try jumping now. Press X to jump. Okay. Can we double jump? No. We can kind of move while jumping. The movement feels a little bit stiff. Other than that, everything feels okay so far. Quickly press forward twice. Question game. Does D-pad work? D-pad does work. I generally find I like D-pad better in fighting games. you understand? While jumping or dashing, you can press the attack button. Doing so will let you perform a dash attack or jump attack. Let's work on blocking now. This can be a little difficult. If you're thrown or if you take big damage from attack, you'll get knocked down. If you have good timing and press circle button to guard at the same time, you're knocked down. You can do a defensive fall. Try it. Okay, so like, if we, if we don't quite block at the right time but right as we're getting hit we can we can get up quickly and customers thanks you for being true to yourself because your hair and tattoos and shit always be true to yourself you doubt you'll have any tats i constantly go back and forth honestly on whether i want to get any tattoos or not i uh i don't know man like i i find tattoos pretty cool on other people um but anytime i think of like what would i want to get on myself i just can't really think of anything that i want to have on my body permanently, you know? Um, the only thing I could possibly think of is I, I've lost both my, not my biological, but the man that I consider my dad and, and then my grandpa. Um, and I, uh, like some sort of memorial for them. But other than that, I, I can't possibly think of anything that I'd want on my body forever. I'm into a lot of fandoms and stuff like that, but I don't know if I'm into them enough to get them tatted on my body. <laughs> if you do a defensive fall, you can hop back up as soon as you fall down. Next is evading. 
If you quickly tap up or down twice on the directional button, you can evade your opponent's attack. If you do it consecutively, you will continue to evade. Give it a shot. Oh wait, what? did we just teleport behind him? How did that work? Good. You're a quick study. Use evading wisely, but be warned. It doesn't work against your opponent's throws. If your evading timing is perfect, you can get behind your opponent. Oh! We had perfect timing, so we teleported behind him that one time. If you're successful, you'll have a huge advantage. But the timing is crucial. Use using other button combinations allows you to unleash different techniques. Find out what techniques you can use, press the start button and check the technique list. When your level increases, you can learn new techniques to try different things. This is the end of the basic fighting lecture. I appreciate that, honestly. The the getting levels, or I'm sorry, unlocking techniques as you level up sort of thing. Because one of the biggest hurdles with fighting games for new players, I feel like, is just the overwhelming amount of moves and stuff that you have right at the beginning to, to try and master. Now, generally speaking, you know, the way the... The... The campaign slash you know arcade mode or whatever works you'll fight somebody easier and then slowly work your way up so you can kind of get down the the basic techniques and then on your next run or if it's a story mode deeper into the game start getting some of the more complicated stuff but everything's kind of unlocked for you in the beginning so i kind of honestly appreciate that instead of everything being unlocked you kind of unlock things as you go work your way up to it uh Never gonna vape, you think it looks dumb when you're saving your lungs for cigars. I, uh, I mean, that's a decision. <laughs> I I used to be a smoker back in the day. I uh, quit that for vaping. Vaping helped me quit. Um, and I did that for quite a while. And then uh, I quit that too, and I don't do any of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> as far as vaping goes, there's just not enough regulation on the actual cartridges yet. There's too many... Uh, very poorly made ones that lead to some serious lung disease and things like that as well as honestly the very long-term effects aren't truly understood i do believe it's safer than than smoking cigarettes or tobacco in my personal opinion but i'm not a doctor obviously um but i i don't think either one is good for you and obviously you know smoking is well known to be terrible for you so yeah i don't do either anymore thankfully hopefully i never go back to either one Each time you defeat or damage your opponent in a fight, you gain experience points. Once your experience points reach a certain amount, you will level up. When you level up, you become stronger and sometimes learn two new techniques. You can also earn strength points. Strength points will strengthen your abilities. You can allocate your strength points whenever you desire in the status screen. You can use them a little at a time or you can save them and use them all at once. You can strengthen your character in whatever way you desire. But be warned, strength points that you have already allocated cannot be taken back. Next, I'll teach you about strategy goals. There are three strategy goals. Victory conditions, the last condition. Hey, Noodle, another five bits. Thank you so much, love. What kind of link were you trying to post, man? When you fulfill your victory conditions, you win the battle. If your opponent manages to fill your loss conditions, you lose and your game is over. This can change depending on the situation, so keep an eye on them. Lastly, I'll explain items. There are two types of items. First is immediate. Sometimes appear when you destroy obstacles. Uh, they have various effects, such as refilling your life or raising your defense power, but don't get too excited. There's no guarantee that it'll always be something good. In fact, the immediate effect will sometimes be less than desirable. Why? Why would it be less than so, desirable? <laughs> what kind of bad thing? Like a grenade just blows up in my face? Is that, is that what we got going on? Uh, so can we like check the other character? Capability? Okay, he has a longer battle range than us. He has advantage close and far. So we want to be two squares away from him. So where we're at, actually, um, is probably the, the perfect place to be. Uh, how far can we move? Andrew Tate. Why does that name sound familiar? Yeah, no, honestly, I think where we're at is probably the best place to just stay. Uh, special? Effect description. Surrounding colleagues and self-defense power times 1.2. This lasts only during the next battle. Action does not end. So do we... Ryoku? 
three hundred. What does what does that mean? Oh, well, yeah, no, if that's the case, I don't want him linked in my <laughs> in chat. Capability. Wait, so we have advantage up close, too. So being close would probably even out, then, if that's the case. All right, then we have the basic attack stuff. What's provoke do? I don't know. Let's just, let's just do the battle, because I have no idea what most of this stuff is going on about at the minute. Are you sure? Yes, let's go. He said all kinds of fucked up shit? Well, then, yeah, no, in that case. Like I said, I don't want him in chat. <laughs> I don't want none of his shit linked to me. That might be why I've heard of him, though. So the name sounds familiar, but I can't think of why. Proceed to battle, yes. Oh shit, uh, we're getting- oh god, okay. <laughs> oh god, dude, dodge! Dodge, why can't I dodge? <laughs> oh, is it because of the stuff in the world? Oh, maybe that has something to do with it. It seems like whenever we get hit, we get stunned for a moment. Oh god, now we're like actually stunned. Oh my god, we're gonna lose. <laughs> Straight up, we're gonna fucking lose, dude. <laughs> the first fight. I can't, like, dodge or do anything. Oh my god. Oh, I hope we were meant to lose that one because we got our asses hit. <laughs> oh my god. Arg, I couldn't do it. I'm guessing that's GG. We probably have to beat him, which, yeah, that's GG. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That did not go well. That did not go well at all. Okay. So move up to here. And then... Special. Let's go ahead and try this. Whatever this is. Oh, we're not close enough to do that. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We should be. Because it's... It just takes effect on us and our allies around us or whatever. And now, can we still do our battle phase? Yeah, it looks like it. Are you sure? Yes, let's go. Let's rock Try this again. Um, okay. So in actual combat, dodging is a let's lot harder, for one thing. Um, and it seems like blocking doesn't isn't like automatic. Also, like, our combos aren't quite firing all the time. It's like, I'm just trying to do the the quick attack, the, the weak attack combo. And sometimes it doesn't trigger. Forward plus triangle. Or no, that's back plus triangle. Okay. Oh. Lock. Wait, what just happened? Oh, is it like a time limit or something? Or do we just not have to get him all the way down? If that's all you have, you'll never come close to defeating me. What are you talking about? Simple spirit unity is just the beginning. There's a more powerful way of fighting. More powerful way of fighting? Yo. Did you notice that strange light coming out of his body? Yeah, but wait a sec. It's like there's something physically attached to his body. Can spirits become solid? 
Every spirit has its own power and its own energy, but a fight is one with it. It is not the same as fighting with it. What? <laughs> You're talking in riddles. I don't understand. Oh, uh, I feel for you, yo. I feel for you. I too do not understand. Finishing my tea. Hmm. Your samurai I find is indeed a powerful warrior, but your samurai is not being tested. You are. You must find your... Furioku? Is that how they want it said? Because, like, in Japanese, I think it would be pr pronounced, like, Furioku. But I don't know, like, how it was brought over. Furioku. Furioku. Yeah. Oh. And unleash your own power as a shaman. Do you ever hope to defeat me? Furioku. Spirits becoming solid. Hmm. Is he saying I'm not strong enough? <laughs> I don't think so. It's me. Look, I need you to trust me. If we're going to beat this guy... We need to do things a little differently. You with me? Of course. It would be nice if we had like a little bit of backstory or something because I have no idea what's going on. Wait, what? What do I do? Oh, we can open up a grid. That's cool, I guess. Turn the camera. Oh, okay, we just click somewhere else. Okay. Special command summary? Is that going to tell me what the hell? No, that just shows me the stuff. Trash! Make silver strength equal 50% or less within 10 turns. Okay. So we just have to kick his ass the best we can. Got it. We can try to do that. I'm assuming he's just going to fight us again, right? Yeah, he's just going to... There's only one of them, so that makes the most sense. What was the difference between Spirit Unity and Spirit Control? I saw the two things pop up, but I have no I idea what they mean. The of the Dobi people. My spirits, lend me your power. Oh god. No, oh, damn it. Okay, so that's like our ranged attack, but... You know what I think it is? I think my, my combo is being messed up because I'm pressing forward too close to the time I'm pressing the actual attack button. I think it's thinking that I'm triggering like another combo or trying to do another combo or something like that. It just feels a little bit weird. I don't think it'll be bad in the long run. I think it's just going to take some getting used to. Well, how'd I do? Very well. You have discovered the power within. Congratulations. You have qualified for the Shaman Tournament. Thank you, Mr. Tutorial, sir. Here, take this. This is the Oracle Bell, the official entry pass for Shaman Tournament participants. Whoa, sweet. Can I have this? Or I... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Look, I can't read. <laughs> Of course, every participant must have one. It's like a beeper we used to contact you. We used to use wind spirits to ring actual bells, but now we've gone wireless. Oh my, when was this anime made, Nate? Do you know off the top of your head? Beepers? How long have beepers not been a thing, at least in America? I know, like, a lot of people view Japan as this technology-advanced nation, um, but they're still using... Like, a lot of people over there still use flip phones instead of smartphones, more so than here in America. Uh, they still use, like, printers a lot more than we do. Fax machines are still a thing, you know, older computers, all different kinds of crap like that. Um, actual paper and office settings and things instead of emails is still really common. Like, so, I don't know, maybe beepers are still a common thing over there. But I'm, I'm thinking this, this anime was made in, like, the 90s or some shit. The Oracle Bell is your only connection to the Grand Shaman Council. It's how we contact you and give you information. It tells you your next opponent, the location and time of the next match, various rules, and outcomes of battles. Not only that, the will of the Great King of Spirits appears directly on the Oracle Bell. No way! <laughs> the cycle of the world continues to spiral, and the great destruction is close at hand. Like Grandpa always tells me, 
Only a shaman king with a pure heart can save us from certain destruction. Why are some of the lines voice acting so hard? That's my least favorite part of the game so far. <laughs> you watched it when you were like eight. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, okay. So like early 2000s at the at the latest is when it would have uh, came out in America, which means it was probably made like 10 years before that in Japan. <laughs> so yeah, probably 90s. I'm thinking 90s, man. Good luck, yo, Asakura. Asakura. Okay. Asa well, I can't pronounce Japanese R's well because it's like it's like a mix of an R and an L at the same time, and I just it's like Kula, Kula, Kula. That's why uh, Kila <laughs> in uh, Death Note, K-I-R-A. Uh, that's why they were named that because it sounds like killer, kind of, with the way they say things. But uh, yeah, no, it's I. It's rough, man. <laughs> My American tongue cannot do it. You're tired. Good night. Good night, Hattie. Take it easy, man. May the great king of spirits watch over you. And you, Silva. Oracle Bell, Shaman Tournament, the great king of spirits. This totally rocks. <laughs> the entire world's going to get fucked if uh, someone good doesn't win this thing. But oh my god, is it so cool? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't like this kid. <laughs> oh. Battle evaluation D. Yep, game gave me the D. Doby pickle? Doby bun? I'm sorry? What's a doby pickle or a doby bun? I need I need answers. I have lots of questions. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you'll you'll take the night hard? I'm confused. <laughs> Wow, a shaman tournament entry test. You really passed? Oh, they're talking to me. I thought that little weird looking one, well, no, I guess the other dude was the weird looking one. <laughs> Nightman. Uh, I thought the little dude entered as well. Here's the proof, check it out. How old are we in this game? Oh, his name's Morty, of course it is. Cool, what is it? You're late, where's dinner? Uh, <laughs> and what's that thing? Some kind of video game? Oh god, not a video game. No, Anna, it's... You know what? Kind of looks like a beeper. It looks nothing like a beaver. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. The game so far is whatever, right? It's not the worst, it's not the best. Totally willing to play more. But the sheer stupidity of it is making me want to watch it, though. <laughs> I'm going to have to see if this is on VRV. Add it to my never-ending list of uh, of games that... Or, I'm sorry, of things that I want to watch and just never get around to. <laughs> you must prove your innocence. How about demonstrating that Furrier? Whatever stuff? Fulioku? Spirit control. Good idea. Let's go, Amadamaru. Yes! Trust me, Anna. Watch this. Amadamaru, spirit form into the... That's a... Kula? Is this, like, our girlfriend? Or wait, is Anna our girlfriend? I'm confused. I have no idea what's going on. This would make a lot more sense if I had watched the anime at all. Uh, what the... She's got it going on, as the kids are saying these days. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> uh, Rio? How old are you? You look like you're probably in your 20s. Maybe 30s. That girl looks like she's 8. I'm just throwing that out there. She make my toes feel like fire. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, this game is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And I don't like it. No, Anna. It's not what it... Who are you? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> is she gonna enter? Is Anna gonna enter the the spirit championship thing, the the Mortal Kombat? Cause uh, it seems like she should, man. She kicked our ass with what one punch? God. <laughs> All right, save the game, of course. Gave us the option to save the game. We're gonna save the game. Let's do that before we get another GG. <laughs> Don't want to start over. 
capabilities. Okay. Can we... We did level up. Can we actually, like, unlock anything yet? Yes. Press triangle to unlock strength points. Okay. So, attack, defense, our spirit power, and just our raw strength. So, we have relatively high strength, but low defense. Do we want to go glass cannon build and just go all out? Oh, shit. You straight up cannot reallocate points. I thought it would be like, you know, RPGs where you put a point into something and then you can take it out and move it into something else as long as you don't confirm. In this game, no. When that dude said once you put it in, you can't change it, he straight up meant it, dude. Like, <laughs> you cannot do that. Okay, good to know. We'll have to keep that in mind. It would also be nice if it gave us a little bit of a uh, description. Like, what's the difference between attack and strength, you know? That would also be nice to know. But, oh well. We looked at the options already, right? Yeah. Hard jump, weak attack. So we can only change those buttons. It's fine. Next stage, then. Challenge I'm curious if we're going to end up getting, like, more characters. Because that would be really cool, you know? Since it has this kind of tactics game sort of thing in between fights. Um... It'd be cool if we actually got, like, a group of characters to control to fight the enemies with or whatever. Which I'm assuming is what's going to happen eventually, but I don't know. You want to be my wife? They call me Mero. Mero Inugami. Mero Inugami, okay. And I'm supposed to ask you to please... Please, please, please take good care of me. This, is, this, this has gotten really weird really quick. Why isn't she voice acted? Yo, do you mind explaining this? Uh, like I said, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> oh, stupid me. Dumb Meryl. Here, I got a letter from Master Yo- Yo Mai. From Grandpa? I was told that I was to train to be a kickin' shaman and a potential wife under one Master Yo Asakura. I, uh, I made the kickin' part up. See, I'm a servant of the Inagami family from Koichi. Ko- Ko- Koichi. It's probably Koichi. It's weird, because <laughs> in Japanese, U is sometimes used, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I've studied, but U is sometimes used to make a, uh, a syllable longer, like to extend it. Um, right? Do I have that right? I don't remember. It's been too long since I've studied. We're the family that originated the Iz Izanami style of shaman fighting. You might have heard of that, yeah? Servant? Isn't that the right word? Uh, I'm sorry, potential wife. <laughs> oh God, it really is a beaver. It's your beaver, yo. Must be another girlfriend of yours. I'm not that good with machines, oh God. <laughs> you need to have a very serious conversation with me about Halloween squishmallows when I'm done? Why? <laughs> Allow Meryl. Let's see, here we go. Official information for the first preliminary round. Time, two weeks from now at 2 a.m. Yikers. Location, Sunshine Building. Opponent, some guy named Holo Holo. Holo Holo. Okay. <laughs> what kind of... Are you talking about those ones that you were wanting and we didn't have available at the store or something? Being put out three days ago? That must have been the day I was off. Right? Because today is... I can't bring up my calendar. Today's Friday, so Thursday... That would have been one day. If you're, or you're not counting today. I don't know. They weren't out the last time that I checked. Awesome. I've never been here before. Picture. Must take a picture. So wait, are we going to get to control her too then? Wait, do we get to control Morty too? Is he a spirit fighter? Is that your opponent? What's he doing all the way up? Hang tight! They got an ombre dragon. I can't afford How are you gonna get an ombre dragon if you can't afford it? <laughs> he, he just totally jumped off the building! Don't don't do that, kids. <laughs> Wait, is that your spirit? My name's Haro Haro, but most people call Holo, Holo. Trey Racer. Trey Racer? Because I'm a big time board head. Oh god. This is my guardian ghost. 
cringe. I'm cringing. Corey. Cute. That dragon is so cute, though. Apparently, Corey is cute. <laughs> That's your guardian ghost. Wait, so not don't you, you don't have she's a Mnuchin. you don't have a spirit. You have a guardian ghost. And she's my friend. I'm gonna have to watch the anime to have any idea what's going on in this. Your friend. You ready? You're going down, dude. Rude. Oh, you can do like magic outside a battle? Master Yo! No one's gonna stop me from saving the Minutians. Saving them? Okay, so this guy's probably a good guy, just, you know, we have to fight him because we have to. What are you doing, yo? Heh, you're pretty good, dude. I'm running away. Ah, oh, snap! Fucking got him, man! <laughs> oh. So, hey, Trey, why are you in the Shaman Tournament? You gonna get your shower? Okay. If you want to wait, like, 20 minutes, I'm probably gonna get one, too. But if you don't want to, that's fine. Yo, this is not the time for casual conversation. When I'm Shaman King, I'm gonna create an enormous lily pad field as far as the eye can see. <laughs> it's Trey, not Trace. And it's for the Minutians. The Minutians are an ancient race of tiny spirit people who live under lily pads. They once existed together in harmony with the land and eventually with my people. But if someone doesn't do something, they're going to become extinct. It's in gone for good? That's what extinct means. Yes, yo. That doesn't sound good. No. No, it doesn't, Morty. More and more factories and highways keep sprouting up in the north. They keep tearing down the forest. That's why I gotta become the Shaman King. To save the Minutians. Like I said, good guy. Just, yeah. You want to protect your friends. Man... You've totally worn my heart, Trey. Fine, then. You should be the Shaman King. <laughs> You're a great guy, Trey. Hello? What about my dream? I mean, our dream. Don't you want to become Shaman King so we can help the world and lead an easy life? Uh, oh, yeah. Whatever I get... Whenever I get all emotional, I stop thinking straight. What is this? Are you making fun of me? Boy, what a pickle. I mean, Trey's cause is such a good one. Maybe it's not right for me to want to become Shaman King. But, like, if you become Shaman King, couldn't you just do both? Because you have, like, unlimited power or whatever. Like, what is with this tool? Why doesn't he just fight? Aha! I got it. Got what, dude? All I gotta All do I gotta is help you save the Minutians when I become Shaman King. How's that sound? Pretty sweet idea, right? Everybody wins. What, what are you talking about? That's not the point. This is something I gotta achieve for myself. Well, then bring it on. So, unlikely friendship? Yay? Are we starting right next to each other? Now, is there any bonus? Oh, the cursor speed thing that we changed is for this. I thought it was for, like, the when we're selecting items and stuff. Can we go into the options? Select. No. Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, options. I want to turn that cursor speed back down because it is way too fast now. We'll put it in the middle. Still pretty fast, but oh god. Yeah, no, I think it's still too fast to be honest. One more time. Options. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> I forgot to click exit, I guess. There we go. That's much more manageable. Okay, uh, can we move to behind you? We cannot. If we... I'll go back. If we click on you... Uh, you have advantage in mid-range, or in close range, so do we. Does it also give us your stats? It does. BP, BR, MV, ATDF. The only one of those things I understand is attack and defense. So, oh, and then your strength... Okay, so we're stronger than you. I think in pretty much every way. Defense power times 1.2. Okay, so we might as well go ahead and use that. I see no reason not to. I mean, we can, like, use our spirit points in battle as well or whatever, but... 
When used, recover 400 strength. Even if this item is used, action does not. Oh, strength is our is our uh, health. They called it strength instead of health. Okay. So those are both healing items. We have pickles and buns. I don't know what the difference between these two things is. Hold on, I'm gonna look that up real quick. I don't think the game ever properly explained that. Uh, Shaman King, Power of Spirit, Unity versus Spirit Control. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, yes, here with the manga. No. There's reviews, techniques of Shaman King. Let's play Shaman King. Okay, so there's not really an explanation anywhere. Uh, I guess Spirit Control, that seems to be the better option of the two, right? Seems like we're both doing that one. Let's rock this thing! Aminamaru, Spirit Form! Into the Sword of Light! Because, like, obviously, whenever we, whenever we go in this mode, we... Oh, jeez, man. We're so slow. Can we, can we increase our speed at all? Is that a possibility? Winning so far, but barely. Obviously, we need to get down to fighting mechanics a little bit more. Hey, cut it out. Oh, is he healing? What a dick. Oh, it's still my turn? Oh, maybe he used his turn to, to heal? Should we heal? He does have full strength. Fuck it, why not? Use a Adobe pickle. <laughs> not back to full, but enough to do something. Let's try the spirit unity this time. Cause like I, I can't really tell. Do do our attacks become stronger? Does our defense get higher? What's the benefit of doing Spirit Unity? Why wouldn't you always just do Spirit Control? Yeah, I'm thinking... I'm thinking that we, uh, our strength raises whenever we fucking... Use the, the Spirit Control instead of Spirit Unity. How we can deflect his his magic. Oh my god. Bastard. <laughs> Honestly, it seems like so far the best thing to do is just to spam fucking attack. They do have some iframes right whenever they get up. That's an important thing to, to remember, I guess. Why is the timer counting up now instead of counting down? I just realized that normally it counts down, but this time it was counting up. Does that have something to do with spirit control versus spirit unity 100%? I'm very confused. I wish I had the manual. Too bad, Trey. Grr. <laughs> Yo, Asakura grew to grow up level three. Okay, translation wasn't exactly the game's strong point. We got. How did we get S rank, dude? <laughs> I feel like that was a terrible fight. We got Adobe Pickle, Adobe Bun, a Strength Talisman, Magnitude 1, and Burst Fruit. I don't know what any of that is, game, but thank you for the stuff. I mean, I'm always going to, to, to take stuff in general. Stuff is good. I like stuff. I would like 
to commemorate Yon's first victory. Cheers! Thanks, Cheers. Leo. What Thanks, Trey. <laughs> just thought I'd come and hang out. Cool. But but you guys just fought. You lost, Trey. Shouldn't you be bitter and angry and Hey, you'll kick my butt fair and square. Besides, it's not like I've been disqualified yet. The preliminary rounds consist of three battles. It's a two out of three type of deal. So all I gotta do is win my next two fights and I get to move on. And then I can kick Yo's butt in the second round. That's right. Oh neuter, your pothead. <laughs> Pot friend. I haven't seen <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a while, man. Whatever you say. Okay, everybody, I've whipped up a feast. Ah, yes, a home-cooked meal is like a big hug from Mom. You're the best, Meryl. Meryl? That's a cute name. Don't get no funny ideas about my Meryl, Snokon. Okay, she still looks like she's eight. Huh? Who said anything about funny ideas? Excuse me? Meryl doesn't belong to anybody. You got that? Common King, how old is Meryl? Oh, she only appears in this game. Oh. How old is Rio? Uh. Seventeen years old. And the main character's like thirteen years old, so yeah, this girl's gotta be like eight, dude. Rio <laughs> Rio's kind of a creep. She seems. Rose unafraid to show her thorns. Uh, huh, yeah, that's it. Hey, whoa, everyone's together. Gotta take a photo, a commemorative photo, so we can commemorate. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll, it'll make a good souvenir. Well, I lost this time, but next time's gonna be different. I know, I'll beat you in half the time. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's save the game. What time is it? We got like five minutes left. That sounds like a wonderful time to end it for the night, guys. Thank you, everyone, for coming and hanging out with me for a bit. Uh, Shaman King was interesting. I'm not mad that it lost. I think some of the mechanics of the game are going to take a little bit of getting used to. And uh, it, I, I just don't know what's going on half the time, too, I got to admit. But, you know, maybe if we ever come back to it and play more, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out then. It probably will go on the list eventually for me to finish, or at least play more of. Um, I'm going to throw it on the backlog, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. But as for now, thank you again, everyone. I hope you have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, and as always, be kind to each other. Properties in the human world neat i suppose why are there stones from the underworld though in this castle i mean it might be a dumb question there are demons and shit from the underworld 